And I think I also just like really wanted the opportunity to direct on a bigger scale um, with more than $500 yeah. Uh, yeah. at my disposal. And so much of that is about labor resources and about like intellectual brain power and about the fact that like you're not working a nine to five job and then starting rehearsal. I knew that part of the training of being a director was how you handle and manage resources, um, whether they be monetary resources, artistic resources, um, or support resources. Um, so that was an, an additional layer of the training that I was hungry for. Um, and you get a lot of that at Yale, not just from the collaborators that are assigned to you, but also from a faculty that are sort of around you the entire time offering them their input, their suggestions for how you can grow as a person and as an artist. But the day that I came to the school, I didn't ever thought I could direct <laughs> Death of Yazgard, which is like a Iranian play written 45 years ago in the middle of Iran's revolution in, in Yale School of Drama with yeah. like a complete cast of people of color, but not Iranian people. And like I get the chance to do that, no matter what you're working on Ibsen, Chekhov, Shakespeare, but the people in the room with you are diverse people from all over the world, from mm -hmm. different races, from different sexes, and like you have to be able to figure out how to tell these stories if you want to tell these stories with these people, because these are the people of our our mm -hmm. society today, mm -hmm. and um, so like I think like we are holding the biggest problem of our world in front of yeah. us and we're like do not put it away it's yeah. there let's figure out what we're gonna do with it and um although it's like oh like so hard but i think like every second of it is worth it and i have i think we have to do it